snowmobiles. Good racing for Logan Christian and Lincoln Lemieux. And that battle's far from over. Meanwhile, Daniel Bell loves to see it because he stretched the lead out to one and a half seconds over Logan Christian. Yeah, Logan's in there in second. There is your race leader out of Deer River, Minnesota. As he makes his way around on that factory already cat. Here's the battle back a little bit further in the field. That is Corin Todd and Lincoln, or rather Tim Tremblay. That's the battle for fourth. If you remember Corin Todd and Tim Tremblay both won their first round qualifying heat. Great point. Yeah, here tonight they both had success. But again, that's your battle for fourth right there. So each of those guys trying to get as many positions as they can to try to qualify right into the final here tonight at Canterbury Park. Again, that's your battle for fourth. Meanwhile, we look back up front. That's Tremblay was still trying to make up ground. He's got a good line going. Meanwhile, talk about good lines going. That's Daniel Benham. Still seems to be out front. Now his lead over two seconds. So Benham being very consistent, just racing with him himself and doing a great job. Again, we said it a moment ago. I'll say it again. For a first-year pro, this would be a big win. Even though it's just a qualifier, the confidence that he not only got the stunt boy hole shot, but he won would be a big thing. Meanwhile, up to third, there's your number 11 sled at Tim Tremblay, Mike. Yeah, patience was big for him here. Tremblay was behind corner and Todd. Just waited for the right moment, was able to make the move, and now the big, strong Canadian is up there in the third place with a win in his first round qualifier in a third place. It should be a good qualifying position for him. Through the Air Force flyaway goes Tim Tremblay. We've got a lap and a half to go in this pro qualifier in round two. And your leader continues to be Benham. Right there he is, the 221. Heads for the white flag. One lap to go for Daniel Benham at a Deer River, Minnesota for Arctic Cat Speedworks and Fox. A dominant performance so far for the 221. Boy, and when you're out front like Daniel is right now, when you go across that uh, start-finish line, you see Iceman out there with the white flag. You're going, all right, you knuckle up a little bit. You maybe get a little more arm pump in you because you know that you've got this thing in hand. Let's see if he can hold on for a win. Looking good now, makes his way through the skidoo, the skidoo turn. And now, the GoPro turn, and nothing in front of him but checkers. Headed down the front stretch, the 221, the win will go to Daniel Benham at Canterbury Park. Good, no, you know what, cross that off. Great run for Daniel Benham, a statement win for that young man in this pro qualifier. Logan Christian comes across second, Tim Tremblay in third, and Corin Todd will run fourth. You know, you talk about a statement run for Daniel Benham. You could see that. Uh, that meant a lot to him. He came across that finish line, little yeah. hand pump in the air. Uh, that was a big, big win. Even though, like you said, it was in a qualifier, that's a big statement for him. Absolutely. So Benham... We'll go over, we'll probably have a word with him momentarily. We'll get ready for our second heat of round two of the pros. track says Daniel Benham but this track didn't had nothing on you you went out there and you got out there right away so let's talk a little bit about that race and your mentality through it all just to stay up on your sled yeah the whole already cat team so it's working really hard I'm glad to finally get a whole shot and run some laps up front and uh, you know we're just gonna try and attack the final the same way try and find some smooth lines and stay out of the roost well good luck the rest of the night Nice job, Josie, as always, and that'll take us right into round two, heat two, of the Pro Division. And it's stacked. Sure is, Johan Liedman. You've got uh, Cody Cam, Elias Ischel, Peter Narsa, Aki Palaya, Travis Muller, Montana Jess, and Adam Renheim. A lot of our fast guys, including Cody Cam, that man right there, if you remember, had an issue in his first heat. So he'd need a very good run here to try to stay out of the LCQ. Yeah, I'd say if you're not in the top three here, you can kind of almost look at going to the LCQ with the finish that he had earlier. 
a crash on the final lap for Cody Kim in his first heat race. Here 
comes Cody Cam to hold on for second. So it goes Palaya, Cody Cam, Elias Ishul, and a strong front for Johan Lindman to round out the top four here at Canterbury Park. Good strong run for the 128 of Aki Palaya. You know, again, it's easy to say this after just watching that heat race, but Mike, Aki's got to be one of your favorites for tonight's final. I wouldn't think so. You know, he got out front, and, you know, we've seen him in his earlier qualifier making contact a couple of times with a couple of different drivers, and he, too, is a huge, huge, strong racer, was able to hold on, make his way through, and, uh, yeah, he's got to be a favorite. winning this round and getting a second in your first round let's talk a little bit about your motivation going into the final because you seem to be running good today yeah the slip worked perfectly so i am riding a good results in the final i just uh i got trust the sled so so good that uh, it's easy to try well good luck tonight thank you so once again a big win for that young man right there aki palaya and that'll do it for your heat races of the pros. And I got to tell you, that really sets you up for something big tonight when it comes to the finals in that division. But plenty of racing, including LCQs. In fact, the next race will be the Pro Light LCQ. This is the Pertex Snow Cross National, presented by Country Cat at Canterbury Park in Shockopee, Minnesota. It's round five of Amsoil Championship Snow Cross, powered by Ram. We've got a very special guest joining us in studio after a short break. This is the best show on the snow. It's Amsoil Championship Snow Cross on the CBS Sports Network.